Hi, good morning. Um, welcome to today's practice. Um, I'm going to start with a couple minutes of meditation. You're always welcome to forward through that, but I would recommend you don't. And then we're going to do like a 40 to 45 minute practice. So today's practice is going to move quickly. And my goal is three breaths per movement. This is a practice that I do a lot on my own um, when I don't have a long time to practice. So this is probably the one I do most frequently at home by myself. It's the full journey into power sequence, just three breaths per pose. So if you get overwhelmed or feel rushed, um, either just take child's pose like you would in a live class or pause the video and take a breath or two and then turn it back on and begin again. So let's begin with a reading from Melody Beatty for today. Um, March 18th, and then um, a short meditation, and we'll practice. I'm setting an intentional seat for meditation. I personally like for my hips to be up higher than my knees, but you may sit crisscross or in a chair. I'm seated on a block in a, in a meditation cushion, um, two blocks or just a couple cushions or pillows works great as well. So find an intentional seat for meditation. A reading from Journey to the Heart for March 18th, Heart Connections. I went into the office of the lodge where I stayed in Sedona. I turned in my room key, then pulled out my camera and took a picture of Mary Ann. We had only known each other for eight days, but I felt deeply connected to her. We have been through a series of experiences that would probably stay with me for life. They had changed my life. When we hugged and said goodbye, I told her not to cry, but she did anyway. So did I. Call me whenever she want. you want, she said. I'll be there for you. I knew what she meant. She didn't mean for me to call her on the phone, although that was okay too. She meant call her in my heart. Call her to me in spirit. For a long time, our connections to people and places may have come from someplace other than our hearts. We may have been connected out of need, fear, unfinished business or simply an unwillingness to leave to know that there was any other way to be connected or we may not have even felt particularly connected to the people around us now is a different time it is time now to let your connections come from the heart open up listen does someone have something to say maybe only a sentence or two that's just what you need to hear as you're going through your day, does someone come to mind? Someone you think about getting in touch with? Don't shrug off the things you know and sense. Be open to your inner voice. Do what it leads you to do. Love isn't bound by time or space when our connections come from the heart. Let's take a few minutes of meditation now to listen to our own inner voices and to get present in the now here moment. So set your seat, take your hands to your legs or maybe fingertips to touch wherever you're sitting. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out. Another deep, full body breath. Breathe all the way to your toes. And let it go. One more. And just let your breathing come naturally now. And gaze through the center of your forehead through closed eyes. Start to ground yourself here in this moment in your body by gazing gently through closed eyes and put your awareness on your whole body. 
Feel what your body is touching. Your mat, the ground, the floor. Cushions, the blocks, whatever you're seated on. Feel where your legs have landed, your feet, your hips. And notice your body as a creation, not as a concept. As a creation right here in this moment, from the crown of your head all the way to your feet. Rooted right here where you are. Put your awareness on your feet. On each toe. Your big toes. The next ones. The middle toes. The next ones. Your baby toes. Put your awareness on the tops of your feet and the soles of your feet. From the skin in, notice your feet. And putting your awareness on your body, you ground yourself in the now here moment. Putting your awareness on your body as a bridge. grounding to presence. Put your awareness on your legs, from your hips to your feet, from your lower legs, your knees, your kneecaps, your thighs. It's natural for the mind to wander, and when it does, you just gently draw your attention back to your body. Put your awareness on your legs without judgment, without a story about it. Just gently draw your attention back to your body, to the now here moment. Walk your attention from your legs up your spine Feeling each vertebrae, your lumbar spine, your thoracic spine, all the way up to your cervical spine, the back of your neck. Put your awareness on your whole back. Bring your shoulders down, turn your hips in. Where our attention goes, energy flows. You may notice a tingling feeling, a warmth, a sensation. As you put your attention truly on your back. And now walk your awareness around to the front of your body. Feeling the rise and fall of your chest with each breath. The rise and fall of your abdomen. From your pelvic floor all the way up to your collarbones. Put your awareness on the front of your body. Feeling what you feel in this moment. attention go to your arms from your shoulders walk your awareness down your arms to your fingertips noticing your elbows your forearms your wrists then coming to your hands putting your awareness on your hands is a way to ground you in this present moment. 
in this moment. If your attention has wandered into thought, into thinking, you just gently draw your mind back to your body and put your awareness on your hands. Notice your thumbs, your first fingers, your middle fingers, your ring fingers, and your pinky fingers. Notice the skin on the back of your hands. Feel it tingle. Notice your palms. Notice whatever your hands are touching. The feel of skin on skin. your awareness up to the crown of your head. Put your attention on your head. On your face. On your skull. From the skin in. Feeling your head where it is right now in this space. In this moment. Let your eyes be soft in their sockets. Release your jaw, your tongue in your mouth, any muscles in your face where you might be holding on. Now put your attention on your whole body, from the crown of your head all the way through your seat to where you were grounded on the mat, on the floor, in your chair. Feel your whole body as a creation right here in this moment. Feel what you feel right now. Hear the sounds around you, the quality of the air on your skin. Feel the quality of the air on your skin. this moment, to presence, to the now here moment. Bring your hands together at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Press your fingertips together and leave space between your palms. Space for something brand new, for possibility, for a new creation. Let's seal our meditation with one um, inhale. Uh around you, a book, a cushion that you could use as a prop instead if you would like it. Otherwise, just go ahead, come onto your mat. Let your hips sink back into your heels. Take a deep breath in and clear it. Seal your lips, start your ujjayi breath in and out through your nostrils, deep Full, audible breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay with presence right here on your mat. Fill up. Empty. Open your eyes. Come to downward facing dog. Set your eyes to one spot. 
using gaze, a drishti point to find presence, to ground you in the now here moment. Breathe in, breathe out. Uddiyana Bandha, pull your belly in and up. Mula Bandha, pull your pelvic floor in and up. Walk to the top of your mat, ragdoll, three breaths. Bending your knees as much as you need. Full body breaths, inhale. Exhale, release your bind, feet together. Sweep up, extended mountain. Look up through your hands. Find your true north. Grounding down through your feet, rebounding up through your hands. Hands to heart center, three ohms. Breathe in. Oh. Lift. 
Hold. Extended mountain inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths. Set your gaze to one spot. Breathe all the way in. Empty completely. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Bend your knees. Utkatasana. Send your shins to the back of the room. Bring your knees more in line with your ankles. Upper arm bones by your ears. Soften the back of your neck and bring your jaw in towards your neck. Oh, long neck, long spine. One more breath in, reach up. Fold. Inhale, flat back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot, warrior one. One breath up. Right back to the mat. Flow low. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot. Big step. Rise up. Exhale. Hands back to the mat. The same exhale brings you all the way down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths. Set your eyes to one point. Breathe in. Exhale. Walk or jump. Halfway lift. Fold. Utkatasana. One breath in. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing. Right foot, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat, vinyasa to the other side. One breath, one pose, linking breath and movement, taking breaks when your body needs. Three breaths. Breathe in. Knees to the mat, top of the mat, halfway lift, fold, third one, inhale, exhale, halfway lift, chatter on deck, we're going to do five sun bees, two more, after this one, warrior one, hands to the mat, Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side. Let it be messy. No one said it had to be perfect. It's okay to try on messy to see where it takes you. Inhale, exhale. Walk or jump, top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold. Number four, Utkatasana. Fold, halfway lift, Chaturanga. Building heat with every breath. Deep fire within, warming up your body from the inside out. Left foot, big step. Keep reaching your knee to 90 degrees in your warriors. One more sun B. Breathe in. Exhale. Float forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Upward facing dog. 
downward facing dog. Right foot, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, left side. Flow low. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Ha, sigh. Again, inhale. Sigh. One more breath. Take your toes to touch. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee, peel open. Stay or flip dog. Three breaths. Find a drishti point. Keep breathing. Back to high plank. Side plank on the right. Spin your heels. Challenge yourself to take it to the next level. If that's where your body is today. Toes to touch. Lift your left leg, peel open, flip dog. Feet face 12 o'clock directly behind you. Maybe that's six o'clock. Arm reaches forward to 12 o'clock at the front of the room. Breathe in, breathe out, high plank. Spin your heels to the left, side plank. Stagger your feet, take it on a knee if you need. Honor your body where it is today. Three breaths. High plank to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Prayer twist to the right. Keep your hips level. Really fire up your back leg. And press your front knee out toward your pinky toe. Warrior two, up and around. Sink your hips low. Two more breaths. Extended side angle. Hands to the mat, chaturanga. Left foot, crescent lunge. Be willing to just be in the flow, coming right into it. One more breath here. Twist, warrior two. Whoa, <laughs> gaze over your front fingertips. Find your core, pull it in and up, inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, look down, chaturanga, inhale, exhale, deep breath in. Exhale, walk or jump forward, halfway lift, fold, Utkatasana, inhale, prayer twist to the right, check in on your knees, send your hips back, breathe in, breathe out, twist, inhale, exhale, fold forward, split your feet to hip width, Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Halfway lift, fold, three breaths. Keep rocking your hips forward, taking your sits bones to the ceiling. Release your hands, feet together, Utkatasana, prayer twist, left. Release, gorilla, 
and let your head dangle to the mat. Come all the way up to your wrist creases with your toes. Rock your hips forward. Engage your leg muscles. Hug muscle to bone. Inner ankles back. Release, crow. We'll meet in down dog after three breaths. However you want to get there. Through Vinyasa. Feels good to me today. Breath in. Breath out. Top of the mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Extended mountain. Eagle right arm under. Right leg over. Three breaths. Set your eyes. Smile. Release. Other side. Left arm under. Left leg over. Squeeze your legs into each other. Press your arms together, your palms together, wherever they're touching. Release. Eagle, right side, right arm under, right leg over. If your foot is hanging out in space, make sure you're flexing your toes back towards your knee on the lifted foot. One more time, left side. Notice my foot is flexed on my lifted leg. One more breath here. And release. Tadasana. Standing leg raise. Take your knee or grab your big toe. Remember, you can grab your big toe even if your knee is really bent here. I'm going to demo that right now. So my knee is really close to my body. I can just open out from there. This is a way to start grabbing your foot or your toe. Your leg does not need to be straight. Back to center. Airplane. Three breaths. Set your eyes on the horizon. Let the back of your neck be long. Like you have a grapefruit under your chin. Hands to heart center. Half moon. Peel open. Option to bind. Release. Ragdoll. Feet together, sweep up. Hands to heart center. Standing leg raise, left leg hugs in. Stay with your knee or take your toe or the outside razor edge of your foot, whatever you want to grab today. Open out to the left, gaze to the right. Stay with breath. Find a drishti point. Come back to center. Airplane. Turn your pinky toe down to toward the mat to square up your hips. I noticed in the video yesterday that I was a little more open than I think I am. I'm going to work on that today. So, taking my pinky toe down to the mat to square my hips up. Hands to heart center. Half moon. Using a block or whatever prop you have is great. One more deep breath. Let it go. Inhale up to Nasana. Dancer. Left arm out, catch your right ankle. Kick back. Build this pose from the mat up with the strength of your legs. Turn your inner ankles back, both of them, even here. 
Other side, try that again. Turn your inner ankle back on your standing leg. On your lifted leg. It's harder to find there for me. One more breath. And come out. Other side, left arm out. Catch your right leg again. Fullest expression. And release. Remill your arms. Catch your left leg. Soften your jaw. Smile. Come up. Hands to heart center. Three. Three breaths. No time for a story today. Release back foot. Take your left foot up on your right leg. Three breaths. Extended mountain, fold, flat back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right foot forward, transitioning to triangle, three breaths here. Inhale, come up. Spin your heels to one side. Spin your feet to one side. Hands at your hips, fold forward. Hands underneath your shoulders. Ground down into your feet. Lift up through your sits bones toward the ceiling. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Pyramid. Inhale. Fold. Ground down equally through both feet. Turn your inner ankles back. Squeeze your leg muscles to the bone. Inhale. Halfway lift. Twisting triangle. Right hand down. Left hand up. Through your vinyasa to the other side, triangle. A lot of times in practice, I'll pick one physical cue and work on it my whole practice, like inner ankles back. I'll think about it in every pose. It can be a fun challenge sometimes. To find that in certain poses, like bow pose, which we'll be doing in a minute. But it really can change my poses in ways that I hadn't thought of before. Clasp your hands behind your hips, full. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. One more full deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale up to standing. Keep the arm bind. Pyramid. Left foot forward. Fold. Lift your ten toes. Let them be light. Root down through your feet. Release your bind. Oh, I have my wrong foot forward, I think. Twisting triangle. Maybe I did it on the other side. I'm not really sure. Because I turned around for you guys. Do both sides. Hands to the mat. Chatter on the head. Upward facing dog. 
Downward facing dog. Come to high plank. Lower onto your belly. Cheek, one cheek to the mat. Other cheek to the mat. Chin to the mat, locust. Three breaths. Letting go any stories about this practice. Any thoughts that are running through your mind, come down. I'm just being willing to be right here in this moment. Inhale, exhale, ha, ah, locust. Stay with breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale and come down, ha. Ah. Floor above, catch your feet. Flex your toes, come up. Lift your belly. Turn your inner ankles back. Breathe in. Exhale, come down. One breath in. One breath out. Come right back up. Stay with breath. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Upward facing dog, three breaths. Pulling your shoulder blades together on your back. Pressing the tops of your feet down. Toes are straight behind you. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Ha. Camel. Uh, I'm going to turn sideways. We're going to take one on each side today. So we're going to take it on one leg at a time, I should say. So one leg down, other foot straight out. My foot is flat on the mat over here. I can keep my hands at my low back or take my left hand to my foot in this case for me with my right arm up. Keep reaching your hips forward. Breathe in, breathe out, come up. Switch legs. Two more breaths. You gotta come right into it. So you don't miss it, come up. Bridge. Come right into it, three breaths. Breathe in, breathe out, that's one, inhale, exhale, ha, one more, full deep body breath, let it go, come down, roll through your vertebrae, all the way down, inhale, exhale, reset your feet, toes are facing forward or a little bit pigeon toed, come up for bridge or take wheel, we've got three more. Three breaths, each one. Come down. One breath in, breath out, reset. Go up, if you can, you must. Even if no one is there to see you. Two more breaths. Come down, one breath in, one breath out, go up, three, two, one, come down, Supta Baddha Konasana, toes together, press your feet together, pull your belly down to your spine. Find an energetic Sutta Baddha Konasana. One more breath here. Happy baby. Your whole back is on the mat all the way to your tailbone. So if your tailbone comes up when you grab your feet, roll it back out to the front of the room. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your feet over your hips. Hands behind your head. Lower your right foot to a hover. Chest is off the mat as if someone is pulling you 
from a string at the center of like your solar plexus from there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Both legs up. Hands under your hips. Actually, hands next to your hips. Lift your heels up to the ceiling. Just a little movement. 10, 9, 8. Getting into those lower transverse abdominals. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now pat up your sacrum. Drop your heels 30% forward. Tack your belly button down to the spine. 30% more. Lift your head and chest up. Lower to a hover. Deep breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Come up. Barbie feet. Press your toe mounds to the front of the room. Engage your leg muscles. Lower to 30%. To a hover. All the way up. Last time. Feet flexion of your choice. I'm going to flex my toes like Charlie Chaplin feet. Heels together. Toes out wide. Lower 30%, 30% more, to a hover, using your core all the way up, hug in, bicycles, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, hug in. Drop your knees to one side, gaze to the other. Both your shoulders are on the mat. So let your legs land where they will. Switch that to the other side. Rock and roll to flat feet. Three times. One, two, Three, boat pose, hands stay behind your legs, any arm variation of your choice. I'm gonna cactus my arms today and pull my shoulder blades together on my mat, on my back. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, hug your belly in and up. Rock forward, optional final vinyasa. Otherwise we'll meet in down dog. Lift your right leg up. Take it forward for half pigeon. Actually, let's take this on our back today. Thread the needle. Got my right foot over my left leg. My ankle's on the outside of my left thigh. I'm going to thread my arm through and between my legs. Catch my, the back of my thigh or the front of my shin. Pull my left leg toward me by bending my elbows. Keeping my core engaged. One more breath here. Exhale. Switch legs. Three breaths. Rock up to a seat. We're going to take cow face pose today. So instead of um, full pigeon where my legs are more square, my knees are aligned with my hips, I'm going to take my knees in toward each other. So my knees are more stacked over each other. My heels are by my hips. Feet are still flexed forward. This might be enough of a stretch for you if you've got a lot of tightness in your hips. Otherwise, you can walk your hands around to the front and come forward like you would in pigeon. Sitting up. Don't undo your legs yet. Keep them crossed the way they are. Put the top foot, the foot of your top leg, on the mat, flat on the mat, and find a twist. 
We're going to twist both ways. So twist whichever way you want first. Tall spine, crown of the head reaching to the ceiling. And reverse that for three breaths. Taking the twist the other way. Now we'll switch our legs. Other leg on top for cow face. I guess your knees are supposed to be the, the nose of the cow, like a bull's nose. I got both my sits bones on the mat. Come forward. Let your head dangle if you can. Sitting up, take your upper leg foot flat to the mat and twist to one side. And take it the other way. Back to the mat. We're going to take um, frog. Pad up as needed. I'm going to take it facing sideways this time so you can see what it looks like this way. I've got my knees out really wide, as wide as they can go. I've got my feet tracking directly behind my knees and then my toes are flexed. This may be right where you are. See, my hips are right in line with my knees, so they're not forward and they're not really far back. That hurts to do that, so just to come to knees in line with hips is where you want to be. You may be up on your hands in this pose to start. That's fine. You may be on your forearms. Drop your head. You may find your chest. You're really flexible. And then you rock forward to come out. Sitting forward on your mat, legs in front of you. Forward, uh, seated forward fold, reach your hands up and fold over both legs, making it as active or passive as you want by grabbing your legs or your feet or just letting them be on either side. Long spine and then let your hip drop. Coming up, we'll roll onto our backs. Actually, let's take a reverse um, plank. So fingers by your hips, fingertips facing forward. Lift your hips up, press your heels into the mat, press your hands into the mat, drop your head back, and smile. Inhale, and come down. Ah, now we're we'll onto your back. Shoulder stand, waterfall. I'm gonna demo waterfall today. Hips on the block. Let your whole upper body melt into the mat, but your, my core is still engaged even as my upper body is relaxed. My legs are engaged, my core is engaged, holding my feet right over my hips. If you're in a shoulder stand, take plow, taking your feet over your head. If you're here in waterfall like me, just stay. Three breaths in plow, then bend your knees and roll down one vertebrae at a time. For waterfall, set your feet back on the mat, lift your hips up to remove the block. Supine twist. Left leg is long, hug your right knee in. Take it across to the right, gaze to the left. You might need to adjust your shoulders so they're both firmly on the mat. This 
switch legs, coming back through center. Get the right knee a squeeze, hug it in, set it down, squeeze the left knee in, take it across. Your eyes are open by the drishti point. If they're closed, just gaze gently through the center of your forehead. See what you see there. Stay with present, stay right here on the mat, all the way through the end of practice. Squeeze into a tiny ball, Supta Baddha Konasana. Breathe in, let it go. Again, fill up and empty. Shavasana. Arms and legs out by your side. Feet out wider than your mat. Let your toes drop open. Close your eyes. Let your breath return to normal. thoughts come in, you notice them and you let them go. It's natural for them to come in. The work here is to dismiss them and gaze gently through the center of your forehead. Every time a thought comes in, it's an opportunity to just let it go and begin again. Take deep breaths. side in the fetal position, finding gratitude for your body, for your practice, and staying present, feeling the ground beneath you, the mat, the floor, whatever that surface feels like. Push yourself up to a seat. The front of your mat, legs crossed, hands at Anjali Mudra. Three arms, breathe in.